Hey peeps, welcome back. Fight 6 of Broken Sword. And you're just in time because we're about to join George, who is going to Ireland to Lochmar. Several hours later, I arrived in Ireland, the Emerald Isle. I'd been lucky to get a bus from Dublin to the tiny village of Loch Marne. On the way out, the driver told me there was only one service a day. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, anyway, here we are in Ireland. Now, first thing we're going to do is talk to the boy stood here. And I have to tell you, he's one of my favorite characters in the entire Broken Sword series. He's just hilarious and a gem. Hi there! What? What's your name, kid? Who are you calling, kid? Who the hell are you? <laughs> well, we are George Stobart, aren't we? I'm George Stobart, and I'm with the good guys. You're a head case, mister. A few sandwiches short of a picnic. Cut the crap and tell me your name. Liam McGuire. What are you doing hanging around the bar, McGuire? I'm on the run from me dad. Why? Did you do something bad? I ain't done nothing, boss. You can tell me, kid. Is it your dad? Oh, sir. He drinks every last penny down his evil throat. And there's me poor old mother, bedridden and dying of presumption. Try to buy a <laughs> Presumption. Rent. Chopped firewood for father Mahoney till me fingers bled. The old skin flint cheated me too. But I took the pennies he gave me back home. Look, ma, says I, see what your darling son has earned with his own sweat and blood. When suddenly, me dad appears and grabs the loot. I'm off to Dublin, heavy drinking, says he. Watch out till I get back. That's why I runned away. Something in the grin on his face told me he wasn't being strictly truthful. Compared to him, Huckleberry Finn was a candidate for Altar Boy of the Year. <laughs> right, now we can start asking a few questions here. So, go on, we'll ask him about Pegram. Do you know a man called Pegram? Can you describe him like on the telly in the cop shows? He's an English archaeologist. I know the man you mean if he's the one. Oh, good. Well... And tell us, yeah? Can you tell me where I'd find Pegram? No, I can't, because he's not here now. But if I see him, I'll ask him. <laughs> Come on, Maguire. Do you know what Pegram was doing in the castle? Digging for buried treasure. Jewels and gold and skeletons. Like in the films. Hmm. Hmm. Tell us about the dig, then. Do you know anything about Pegram's dig? He wouldn't let me anywhere near it. I offered to help, but he chased me off. I didn't want to see his smelly old hole anyhow. Hmm. Okay. Did anyone from the village work at the dig? Pegram bought some students and bums with him. He reckoned no one in Loch Marne would know what to look for. The only local guy who worked for him was Sean Fitzgerald. What does this Fitzgerald guy look like? Big head, big ears, and face irons. What? Face you know. irons. Becky Tackles. Glasses. He's blind as a bat without him. Uh huh. Okay, well, we'll quiz him about the castle, too, while we're here. What can you tell me about the castle, McGuire? What do you want to know? Well, can I get inside? No. It's locked up. Does anyone live there? No. Only. What? Oh, nothing. What? You know something about the castle you're not telling me, don't you? No. What is it you're covering up? Is it something you're scared of? I ain't scared of nothing. Mm. I'll give you one last chance to tell me about the castle. Oh, yeah? And what if I don't? Then I'm taking you back to school. Oh. <laughs> There's a ghost. It's called the Phantom of Loch Man. Really? Well... We'll come back to the ghost conversation later on, because we have things to do. See you later, kids. 
Okay, mister. Right. Now we'll go in the bar. Well, guess we found Sean Fitzgerald. Right there. But we don't want to talk to him yet. We want this towel. It's under this guy's arm. The man's <laughs> arm lay across the towel, preventing me from moving it. So you gotta time this right when the guy moves his arm. As the man raised his arm to drink, I snatched the towel away. There we go. Right. Now, uh, if we talk to this guy here. Hi, my name's Stobart, George Stobart. Hello there, mister. What can I do for you? Now we'll ask him about Pegram. Do you know Professor Pegram? Do I know him? Do I know the good professor himself? No, I don't. <laughs> I mean, I know who he is, but I don't know him to talk to. Well, that's fine. Just tell us what you know about him. Do you know anything about Pegram's excavation? Only that he didn't have the right tools for the job. What he needed was shovels and a JCB. Pegram was digging for historical remains, not coal. <laughs> is that a fact? What the hell for? Here's the science of archaeology, Pops. Understanding how people used to live by what they've left behind. One day archaeologists might be digging up our remains. Imagine that, Mr. O'Brien. I wonder what they'll find. Well, it won't be arrowheads and beakers. Fast food cartons and flavored condoms, more likely. <laughs> I'll ask him about the gem, I think. Is it true that Pegram found a valuable gem? What? First I heard of it. Where have you been, Pot? For that <gasps> gem is the talk of every town from Loch Man to Ballydoon. Nobody told me. A lucky sod. So that's why he's scoured. <gasps> Don't know about you, but that sneezing is going to do my nutting after a while. Right, anyway, keep talking about the dig. Did anyone from the village work at Pegram's dig? I tried it myself, but that high and mighty history man called me incontinent. <coughs> what a nerve. <laughs> Hadn't I dug more holes than the rest of them put together? Think you meant incompetent. Right. That's all you'll tell us for now. Bye for now. Next thing we need to do is talk to this guy here. Hi there, old timer. <gasps> what? <laughs> Nasty cold you've got there. As soon as the words left my lips, I regretted them. <laughs> is there such a thing as a cold which isn't nasty? I put the question to Father Mahoney. Father says I, why were we born to suffer snot? What did he say? He said it's my reward for being out all night like a sinner. Pious prig. Anyway, this is no ordinary cold. It is the hay fever. Polynosis? Thank you. <laughs> You're not a policeman, are you? Excuse me? Police. No. I'd know it if you were. Hmm. Right. Yes, we'll ask him about Sean Fitzgerald. I'm looking for Sean Fitzgerald. Have you seen him? Never heard of him. Don't you come from around here? None of your business. I didn't ask where you come from, did I? I'm from California. That's your problem. <laughs> Alright then, we'll ask about Pegram then. Do you know Pegram, the archaeologist? That's the scrawny fellow who was poking around at the castle, isn't it? <gasps> no, I don't know him. <laughs> okay. Were you aware that Pegram was conducting an archaeological dig? I don't meddle in other people's affairs. They don't interest me. Fine. Can we buy you a drink? Can I buy you a beer? Very kind, I'm sure. But I don't drink the stuff Leary sells. What's wrong with it? I've seen what it can do. Fair enough. Guess we'll leave it at that then. I'll see you later. Now, we need this guy to get out a piece of wire. I'm hoping he might get it out. Like, sometime around now. 
Maybe... Or not. Because we need the wire later on. Okay. We'll talk to Fitzgerald for a bit then. Mr. Fitzgerald? What? I need to speak with you urgently. Knowing me, the guy will get his wire out now while I'm talking to him. What's the problem? Right. I'll ask him about the dig. There we go! You see, he's got his wire out! Dig. <laughs> what <sighs> did you that idea? <gasps> McGuire says you did. You don't believe that damn hooligan, do you? Why not? His probation officer could tell you a tale or two. Hmm. Ask him about Pegram. Where can I find Professor Pegram? I heard he's gone fishing. I don't know where. Hmm. You're not telling the truth. Can we buy you a drink? Can I get you another drink? Oh, no, thank you. I, I shouldn't be drinking at all. I want tablets for my nerves. More than a pint, and I'll pass out. Okay. We'll come back for you, Fitzgerald. You're not telling the truth. See you later. Now. We need this guy's piece of wire, so we need to get it out again. Come on. Bring George over here. Ah, here we go. Come on. There we go. Yoink. As soon as the old guy looked away, I grabbed his piece of wire. Nice. Right, now... If we talk to Doyle again, hey, you should tell us more this time. Hello there again, Mister. Talk about Fitzgerald. You remember seeing Sean Fitzgerald at the dig? Oh, let me see now. I think me brain box needs a spot of lubrication. All right then, we'll get you a drink then, like good old friends. Can I buy you a drink? You most certainly can. Give me a drink for my friend here. Who? Doyle? Has he conned you into buying for him? Shame on you, Patrick. Same again. Just a pint this time, Michael. One <laughs> pint of brown coming up. Just a pint? <laughs> How much more has he had? <laughs> now then, you ready to open up? Do you remember Sean Fitzgerald now? I can picture the scene as if it was only last week. Come to think of it, it was only last week. Fitzgerald was there all right. Him and a bunch of students. Mm -hmm. He was speaking with the boss man. Aha. Well, that's good, because that's all we needed to know. Bye for now. Now, if you talk to Fitzgerald again, he still deny it. We need further confirmation from Maguire. Right. Come on, Maguire, reassure us. Hey, Maguire. What do you want to know? Are you sure Fitzgerald worked at the dig? Oh, yes. It was him, all right. Would I tell a lie? Well, he denies it. I saw them together only last night. I wish you'd told me that huh. sooner. What were they doing? Pegram gave Fitzy a box. He didn't look too happy about it. I knew it. Really? But how am I going to persuade him to part with it? Break his fingers. <laughs> no, I couldn't do that. I could. Thanks for the offer, kid, but I'll try a more subtle approach. Chinese burns? <laughs> do you know where I could find Fitzgerald? He's inside, but you won't get no sense out of him. How come? Is he drunk? He's like a frightened rabbit. A real bag of nerves. Boy, the fella's scared of his own shadow. Hmm. Okay. Well then, I think it's time we confronted Fitzgerald. See you later, kid. Okay, mister. Right, so. I guess it's time for us to confront Fitzgerald. But in the next video. So, see you there, peeps. <laughs>